Hey there, Coin Metal are just here. Um, I'm back in Denver now. Um, school has started. And I went to my Chase Bank uh, where I have some accounts to deposit a check and some cash that I had on hand. And they said, uh, Oh, hey, do you want the half dollars that we have for you? And I said, What? Yeah, sure. Because I had asked them to try to order. Uh, a box of half dollars for me, um, like two months ago almost, very long time ago, and there were two times I went in and they said they couldn't do it, and then uh, she had written down my number and she was going to call me if she had any success getting them, and she hadn't called me, so I just thought she had never been able to get them, but apparently here they are. So uh, we're going to be able to see uh, how it is getting... Uh, silver half dollars here in Denver. Uh, we did have a little bit of luck getting silver half dollars in Idaho, um, but granted, uh, in Idaho, we looked. Th I looked through uh, a bag of a thousand dollars half dollars on four of these boxes. So here we just have one of these boxes, um, and so there's five hundred dollars, a thousand coins in here, um, and what I'll be looking for is um, pre. Uh, so 1964 earlier coins, which are 90% silver, um, 1965 through 1970, which are 40% uh, silver, um, and in addition to that, I'll be looking for um, 2002 and 2002 newer, which uh, are very low mintage ones. They weren't uh, intended for circulation, so I'll pull any of those out. Um, and once I've looked through these, I will uh, finish the video and let you know what I have found. Um, really helpful for this. Okay, welcome back. Uh, let me show you here what I found uh, in the half dollar coins. Um, right here I have the newer ones that um, weren't intended for circulation. So I have a 2002D. It's got these big old scratches through it. Um, I think I'll still keep it, but pretty bad condition. Uh, 2003P and two 2009Ps. Both in pretty good condition, but not, not excellent. Um, and then the two coins I want to show you here um, are just two examples of some really good coins. Um, this is a 1999D. And in these uh, rolls that I was just looking through, there were an awful lot of these 1999Ds that are what I would say almost uncirculated, if not uh, brilliant uncirculated condition. A whole lot of them really good condition. Um, I'm not going to keep any of them, but they're just incredibly good. Um, and this here is a 1972D coin. Look how incredible that coin is. This coin is in better condition than those uh, 1999 coins are. Um, I think, you know, you see this dark spot? That's where I touched it with my finger. <laughs> when you have a, a coin that's in a proof or uncirculated condition, you shouldn't, well, proof's not a condition, but uncirculated condition, you shouldn't touch it with your fingers. I usually try to hold them by their edges, um, but I think this coin was probably uh, in an uncirculated set and got put in to circulation. It's in incredibly good uh, condition, incredibly uh, lustrous uh, surface finish, um, and I think I'll hang on to it just because of how good it is. Um, so keeping five half dollars out of this box um, no silver but the reason why I'm not surprised with that um, is because I only went through uh, five hundred dollars here so when I was up in Idaho I went through two thousand dollars out of boxes to get one ninety percent and two forty percent silver half dollars so I don't think I can necessarily say uh, that it's less likely to find silver half dollars here in Denver than up in Idaho um, because I haven't looked through a very large sample size. But 
In any case, it's uh, pretty difficult to find uh, silver coins in circulation or in uh, rolled uh, coins that you get from the bank. Um, half dollars, you know, I still I still like the idea of looking through half dollars because, you know, five hundred dollar box of half dollars it only takes maybe an hour to look through that. It's real quick to look through them, um, but. The idea is, you know, that hour that you spend looking through them, if you were to go to work and work for that hour, you could easily uh, make enough money to buy a few silver half dollars rather than um, rather than spending the time looking through them and having the chance of finding silver. Um, but anyways, uh, you know, I enjoyed looking through these half dollars. Um, definitely uh, excited about this 1972 that looks like it. Uh, came out of an uncirculated set. Um, I'll hang on to it. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, good luck and happy hunting.